Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome to UMEP number five. It is Monday Night Raw. We are from Columbus, Ohio. I am finally back with commentary. This is not going to be perfect. I'm still trying to put my life together. I'll probably put a video out about that later on. We start out with Stephanie McMahon coming out. She's going to form an alliance here with Nia Jax. Stephanie McMahon is very good in the ring. She's not so good at brawls. She was outmatched. Of course Nia Jax is going to say yes. She was drafted to Monday Night Raw from NXT because of Stephanie McMahon. Coming up next, we've got a match between Sasha Banks and Bayley. My decision to have Stephanie join this women's division was because of its depth. Sasha Banks and Bayley, I mean, you've got Nia Jax, I put in Stephanie McMahon, you've got all of these other characters, it's brilliant. Raw's got so much depth, I wanted Stephanie to be involved in that. This could be the best division ever. This could beat out Trish and Lita's division. It was only Trish and Lita, I can hardly think of anybody else. Kelly Kelly and that whole era, garbage. Nikki Bella and Brie Bella, the Bella Twins, garbage, I didn't like it. This has a potential to being the best Divas division. Carmella, Alexa Bliss. I think Nikki Bell has actually done quite well in this division. Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. Charlotte, Dana Brooke. So many superstars. And I think this could be the best women's division of all time. This was a great match. Bailey started out the match. She was dominant. She hits Bailey to Belly. Or is it Belly to Bailey? Sasha Banks returns fire with a bank statement. It gets reversed into a pin, which is amazing. This is awesome. Sasha Banks starts taunting. She gets cocky. Bailey attacks, hangs her up on the ropes. Bailey to Belly for three. This match was great. This match was awesome. This could be one of the first five star matches of the year. Sasha, this is like, I think, the third week in a row that she's lost. Not doing so well in this universe mode, but that's okay because of the depth. It doesn't matter because she's still a great wrestler. We're still going to see great things from her. All right, the next match, we've got Murphy versus Xavier. Last week, Kofi distracted Blake to give Xavier the win. This week, Murphy wants the chance against Xavier Woods. Congratulations, by the way, to Xavier Woods. His wife is pregnant. Congratulations to you, sir. I didn't even know he was married. That's crazy. And once again, Kofi Kingston going to insert himself into this matchup. He will be on commentary. Eventually, he distracts Murphy. Two-on-one beatdown. I don't know how this isn't a disqualification right now. This is ridiculous. The ref's not doing a thing. Is this because Stephanie McMahon has stepped down as the commissioner of Monday Night Raw? Where is general manager Mick Foley? How is this being allowed? The referee is not doing anything. He seems like he's in the New Day's pocket. Two-on-one beatdown. Xavier knee for the win. It's over. Murphy loses to Xavier Woods. All right. Next matchup, we got Curtis Axel. Rich Swan, Kevin Owens, the Universal Champion in a triple threat matchup. It's a good tune-up match. Roadblock is three weeks away in this universe mode. Of course, real scheduling in the real life WWE and the scheduling in the video game is very different. In the video game, they've actually got Sundays as the seventh day of the week, and that's incredibly incorrect. Sunday is the first day of the week, so they really screw a whole bunch of things up by doing that, and they always have four weeks of seven days, so it's always it's always really, really bad. So the scheduling is going to be really off-center. So Roadblock will be three weeks away. TLC, of course, will be this Sunday. Kevin Owens easily pop up powerbomb to Swan for three. This was a good triple threat match, and luckily it went out Kevin Owens' way, so... Good tune-up match for him. He gets the win. Falling matchup is a tag team matchup. Enzo and Cass versus the Dudley Boys, who are the tag team champions. Last week, Enzo Amore overcame the numbers game, defeated Bubba Ray. That was impeccable. That was awesome. I loved it. And here we go. We're seeing it again. Cass countering Devon, throws him over the top ropes, clothesline to Bubba Ray Dudley. Overcoming that numbers game is key when you're facing the Dudleys. They are the best tag team, I still think, in this game. Bada boom for three. Enzo and Cass have huge momentum if they have a tag team title matchup coming up at the Roadblock pay-per-view. All right, Cesaro's going to do a promo here. Cesaro has been feuding with Roman Reigns. This has been a feud that's been awesome. Cesaro goes, I don't know why the WWE execs like you so much. I'm just as athletic as you. I'm probably a better looking. I'm just as adored by the fans. I really don't understand the difference between Cesaro and Reigns. They're both impressive. Cesaro is going to be feuding with Reigns here. Last week, Reigns defeated Braun. It had a stare down with Cesaro, so I would love to see them have a matchup at Roadblock, winner becoming the number one contender for the Universal Championship. That's what I would love to see. All right, the following matchup is a Falls Count 
anywhere matchup. I, I believe last week's champion versus champion match in the main event was a Falls Count Anywhere, so this will be HBK's second Falls Count Anywhere matchup in a row. He is the United States champion. Last week, Shawn Michaels defeated the Cruiserweight champion, the Brian Kendrick, in the main event. Braun Strowman, of course, losing to Roman Reigns. I updated his finishers in this match. We saw the impact of that. I feel like he uh, performed better in this matchup than he did in last week's matchup. I have also updated his entrance. We had a running Oklahoma slam for two. HBK has been bloodied. This is a brutal matchup for Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels hits his comeback. He's going for those running elbows. Gets that nice scoop slam. Does not go for the elbow here. Goes for the sharpshooter instead. This is brilliant because if you can tap out Braun Strowman, you don't have to pin him. Sweet chin music. One, two, three. Shawn Michaels defying the odds here, defeating Braun Strowman. I thought Braun Strowman had this one in the bag. Of course, his stats are a bit low. It is now time for the main event. Chris Jericho, KO's best friend, versus Samoa Joe. This is actually a fantastic matchup, and even though WWE 2K17 has issues sometimes booking matches, this makes sense. Jericho defeated Titus O'Neil last week, so he's moving up the ranks, and Samoa Joe is the seeming number one contender for the Universal title held by Kevin Owens. Joe battled Kevin Owens in Falls Count Anywhere a couple weeks ago on the debut episode of Universe Mode. And just as I'm about to start talking about the match, the match is over. It's a combination of suplexes. I want to see Joe versus Owens at Roadblock. I will WWE 2K oblige us because that's the money match. That's the one we really need to see. As I said, my life's been crazy the past three months, it feels like. It's, it's felt like forever. So I'm just trying to get my life back together. I've been trying to collect all my equipment and stuff and trying to get back into the swing of things. This game's awesome. I'm having no complaints. Last year I was a bit disappointed in the 2K series, and this year really seems like the year that they tried something new, and I think it's working for them. SmackDown is coming up next. Don't forget TLC will be coming up on Sunday. SmackDown will be coming out on Thursday. I can't wait. I'm about to watch TLC in real life, WWE, women's division. I'm so excited for Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch. I'm excited for Carmella because she actually has a bruise and stuff. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, Prophet God. GG.